What is this hawk on my house sparrow trap? Let's determine its identity. I've been trapping house sparrows all winter in my Topeka, Kansas yard. As you may know, house sparrows are an invasive species in North America and elsewhere. To learn more about them and their competitive nature, click on the link at the top of the video. This is the trap I use to catch house sparrows. The captured birds can seek shelter in the attached box. Sometimes the trap catches birds other than house sparrows. At the end of January 2019, a hawk visited my yard and saw something in the sparrow trap. You see, house sparrows will enter the shelter box for safety if a hawk approaches. But native sparrows like this dark-eyed junco are different and will not enter the shelter box. The hawk was after something other than a house sparrow. Before we learn the identity of the bird in the trap, let's walk through identifying the hawk. The most likely hawks seen chasing birds in backyards across North America are the occipiters. Occipiters have long tails and relatively short wings that make them skilled at flying through trees in pursuit of songbirds. The two commonly encountered species in the winter in the United States are the larger Cooper's hawk and the smaller sharp-shinned hawk. Adults of both have blue-gray backs and white breasts with rufous barring. This bird is definitely an adult occipiter. When differentiating species, it's always best to use more than one trait. We can use size to help us identify this bird. The length of the shelter box is 20 inches. That suggests this bird is a cooper's hawk as a female cooper's is about 20 inches long. But size is not always a good determining factor as males of either species are much smaller than their female counterpart. In fact, a female sharpshin hawk is similar in size to a male cooper's hawk. The two characteristics I like to use to identify occipiters are the eye position and the nape color. The eye is near the front of the head suggesting a cooper's hawk. On a sharpshin hawk, the eye would be about halfway between the front and the back of the head. The nape color is lighter than the top of the head, giving the bird a capped appearance. This is a trait of Cooper's hawks. If it was a sharp-shinned hawk, the nape would be the same color as the top of the bird's head. There are other traits that differ as well. Look for a link in the video description that compares all of the differences between Cooper's and sharp-shinned hawks. After shooting this video, I checked the trap to see what bird attracted the Cooper's hawk. This is the variety of bird that was in the trap. It is an American tree sparrow. I released it from the trap and it flew away unharmed. To see a sharp shinned hawk, the smaller cousin of the Cooper's hawk, click on the link at the top of this video. Hi, it's Jeff with Backyard Birds. If you like this video and want to see more like it, you may want to subscribe to my channel. Just click the red subscribe button below the video. To be notified of new videos, be sure to click the bell widget next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the Backyard Birds channel.